In 1869, the early pioneers of Dixonville began construction on a little rectangular building called Pine Grove Community Church. Our first Advent candle is a reminder of the simplicity and joy of those early days. The early church was a one-room building with two doors. One was a woman's entrance and the other was for the men. The pews were rustic and at first the only furniture was a pulpit. The United Brethren were a simple people who believed in simple buildings, simple decor, and simple celebrations. As their main focus was on simple faith in Christ and the Word of God, they typically did not embellish a building with stained glass windows or elegant furnishings. But they did celebrate Christmas in a simple, pioneer way. Some of the earliest United Brethren were colonists. Count Zinzendorf was one of them. He and his company arrived in America on December 24, 1741. The same night, they celebrated Christmas Eve with the whole company in the small log house, which at the time was the only finished building in the settlement. The place having yet no name, it so happened that on Christmas Eve we called to mind the birthplace of our Savior, and as there was a thin partition wall between our dwelling room and the cow and horse stable, Thus, on Christmas Eve, 1741, this new settlement received the name Bethlehem, aptly named in memory of that first Christmas. In the late 1800s, on Christmas Eve, the United Brethren would enjoy what they called entertainment given by the scholars of our school, that is, the Sunday school. The entertainment was composed of Christmas songs and a few recitations they had learnt for the occasion, spoken loud and distinct to the great satisfaction of their parents and all present. After reading the history of the birth of Christ, they offered fervent supplications and thanksgivings to the Savior who came into the world to seek and save that which was lost. The striking circumstance that the glad tidings of great joy were first communicated to the shepherds abiding in the fields of Bethlehem proved especially encouraging, and our poor hearts swelled out of gratitude for his boundless love to us sinners. As one of them writes, It was a pleasant time. We had a tree loaded with good things to give away. All the children were invited in to see the beautiful Christmas tree, all lighted with wax tapers. There was great rejoicing amongst the children. Two of the boys had never seen a Christmas tree before. We spent a very happy Christmas Eve. After the services were over, each person received a bag full of cookies, ginger cakes, and a lighted candle. And in addition, the school children received a mouth organ. After that, we had a Christmas Eve love feast. And so we will call the 1869 Advent candle Simplicity, as a reminder that it is simple faith in Christ and nothing more that saves us from our sin.